Welcome to Learn to Live Stress-Free. This is Christine Wright with Dr. Robert Wright, Jr. of www.stressfreenow.info. Hi, this is Dr. Bob, the Stress and Pain Relief Doctor, coming to you today from Juneau, Alaska. I am on the tail end of a uh, back-to-back cruise that went from Vancouver to Seward, and then from Seward back to Vancouver. And so on the first leg of the trip, uh, I was not able to really see Van, uh, uh, Juno because it was very foggy and rainy, et cetera. We're at the end of the uh, cruise season. And basically what I wanted, the travel tip I wanna give you on this video is who is an ideal person to come on a cruise? And so, although that may seem like a simple question, um, it's not in the sense that a cruise is not for everyone. Um, I (laughs) had several conversations with people and I said to them, oh, you should come on a cruise. And then my wife would give me a little elbow saying, "Uh, I don't think uh, he wants to go on a cruise. And then I would later find out that the person uh, couldn't swim and was afraid of water and uh, had other issues, Um, not even seasickness, but they, they were just afraid of the water and even water in a swimming pool. So a cruise wouldn't be for them. So the thing is, the cruising is not for everyone, but if you're one of those persons that's either curious or you've already been bitten by the travel bug, then you already know the secret, which is this. When you take a vacation on a cruise, it's all inclusive. On most cruises, uh, room service is free. I don't know if you ever stayed in a hotel and looked at the menu for room service (laughs) and see the prices if if you order, especially if it's two people. One of the things on most cruises at that is that the room service is free and the food is really good. And they they show up at your door basically uh, within 20 to 40 minutes, depending on the time that you order. You know, if they're really busy, then it'll take 40 minutes. But, uh, you know, if it's the middle of the night, they're not busy. And they're, they're, sometimes they've been at my door in, in 15 minutes, in which is that, oh, my gosh, this is, like, fantastic. So who is a good candidate to take a cruise. Well, first time cruises would be uh, people who are curious. Uh, The second would be, this is a fantastic way to to honeymoon. Uh, Some people even uh, uh, get married on board or renew their vows. This is a a great place to, uh, uh, any cruise is is fantastic for uh, just seeing multiple ports at one time and the best part is that you only have to pack and unpack once (laughs) unless you've been living under a rock or in a cave then you know that transiting an airport these days unless you're flying private is literally for the birds and i don't know if you can see on the video all the birds they are really large birds here I don't know if those are ravens or uh, uh, hawks or falcons, but um, they have really large birds here, including lots of bald eagles. Pretty amazing. So I'm just going to pan a little bit to give you a sense of what I see here and to encourage you to uh, do the same. So look at this uh, fantastic um, panorama. So I'm on the um, 13th floor of a cruise ship. And so, but just take a look at how gorgeous this place is. And there you've got the mountains with the waterfalls coming down. And in many places, the waterfalls are, are huge. But look at the foliage here, just amazing, amazing foliage. And so, I want to encourage you to come to Alaska. Oh, I see up there, there's uh, uh, some kind of gondola ride, uh, which I guess you can go from down low and go up there. But just take a look at this mountain. Pretty nice. 
Um, I'm here uh, in between the glass because it's a little bit breezy and I didn't really want to put on too much. I don't know if you can hear all that hawking going. So I don't know what whether those are falcons or hawks or whatever. But this gives you an idea. We're at a port which is outside of the city of Juneau. And so, um, which I really like because when, when you come, uh, to a, uh, cruise port and there's multiple ships, like if you're in the Bahamas and, you know, eight ships show up at the same time and some of the large ships have a huge number of people coming off, the bigger ships now have a four to 6,000 people. And then when you consider the crew, they've got another crew of 4,000 people. Oh my gosh, that is just like 10,000 people. That is the opposite of what I'm looking for. So I wanna encourage you to, to consider Alaska um, kind of a final frontier. This is the opposite of, of being in a city. And so if you are a person that loves nature or um, you just like fresh air and you want a break, um, there are many places uh, during this trip where the internet's not working. So if you need a vacation from your phone, come on a cruise to Alaska because the uh, the mountains and the glaciers uh, block the, the internet signal. And so that allows you to get off of that device and stop having the tail wag the dog. So this is Dr. Bob coming to you from Juneau, Alaska, wishing you well. And remember, if you like what you hear and see on our a Stress Free Now podcast series, please give, give us a like and subscribe to our channel. And remember, take care of yourself and schedule me time for yourself. Me time isn't selfish, it's smart. So this is Dr. Bob of Stress Free Now podcast. My website is stressfreenow.info if you want more information. Until next time, be safe and be well.